Okay, this is Marilyn O'Malley, and this is part three of the fear of public speaking, and this is the positive part that we're we're going to be working on. Um, so I want you to only be here and do this part if you've already worked on part one and part two and gotten them down, gotten your statements of, of your biggest fears and biggest um, sensations that you, negative sensations that you were having in your body, stress sensations, um, down to uh, a zero, one, or two. And um, if you haven't gotten them there, then go back and work on those until you get them down because really doing this is not, it's like putting a Band-Aid um, over an open wound and it's really not going to, uh, and it needs stitches, right? So you need to get the root of the problem, the root out, and then this will really reinforce the shift in the, in the uh, mindset and, the, um, and in the mind for um, creating new, new neural pathways. So we're going to respect that you have these feelings we're going to respect that there is fear uh, because you're doing something new. And um, I'd like to challenge you to, um, or inspire you actually, to look at is, is some of your fear that's left really excitement? You're doing something new, you're learning, it's novel. The brain loves to be doing new things and it gets excited, but a lot of us have been brought up uh, from where we were a little, very little, to relate um, excitement to fear. Because like when your parents took you to some place, you went whitewater rafting or roller coaster or something like that that was really exciting, but they said, are you afraid? And so you're like, oh, this that's, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling fear. So now anytime that you feel excited about something, you think it's fear. Okay, so, um, so we're... we're um, having compassion that we're feeling these things, that we've never done this before. This is new. Every time you go up on that stage, it's brand new. You've never been here or done that. And so the body is, is um, experiencing that newness. And so your mindset is also experiencing that. And it's bringing up, um, you know, those things that are challenging, our limiting beliefs. And we want to overcome that. Overcome those because... It's not true for this moment because we've never been in this moment before. So here we go. Follow along. And if there's something I don't say again, put it in how you want to show up. And this is all about how you want to show up on the stage. So I want you to imagine you're on that stage. You're looking at your audience. And um, here we go. Even though I'm still feeling uncomfortable... I'm, I'm really excited about what's about to happen. I'm really excited about giving this speech. And I know I'm doing something good and powerful and that I'm growing. I'm excited to impact change and help others through this speech. And know that what I am doing is bigger than me. And even though I can be anxious and nervous about this and not feel really comfortable in my body, I know I'm doing what I'm called to do. I'm the messenger and I'm willing to shine my light in order to serve the growth and good of others. My confidence is growing and I'm getting better and better at giving my speeches. I'm letting go of the fears and the anxieties and of not being perfect. I'm letting go of not being perfect. And I'm letting go of not feeling safe. I am supportive. People want me to succeed. I have people that are rooting for me, that are there for me. I am safe, and it is safe for me to say what's on my mind. It's safe for me to ask for what I need. I am supported. I am enough. 
I am good enough. I deserve this opportunity. I can be dynamic and funny and loving and charming and inspiring and compelling, doing the best I can in this moment. I can rock this, I can do this, and every moment I get better and better. And I will find my way and do the best I can. Loving myself and sharing that love with the audience. And take a nice deep breath. So I want you to now go back, close your eyes, and go back on that stage. And I want you to imagine what the audience and what you feel like now. Look at the audience. Feel how you're feeling. Are you ready to give that speech? Do you feel grounded? Do you feel in service? Do you feel connected? And so wherever there's a disconnection or wherever something is missing, again, then you can go back to either tape one, videotape one or videotape two of this three-part session and work on those things that show up. Um, or you can start, you know, saying, oh, you know what? I really want to feel my light a lot more. I want to be brighter and bigger and, you know, shine on the stage and radiate out this energy. And so just do what we just did through the tapping and add that to it. So um, again, this is Marilyn O'Malley of MarilynO'Malley.com and I hope this helps and um, share comments and, and uh, let me know if you need any other help. Just um, ask me questions and, and um, I'm here for you. All right. Take care.